Private 5G is enabling enterprises and industrial companies to build and operate their own dedicated 5G networks. I'm joined by Young Chang, who leads Samsung Network's Enterprise Solutions Group. Hello, Young. Hello, Kelly. Young, what are the benefits that come from private 5G networks, and why are enterprises investing in their own private network? I think the first thing we need to ask is, why more enterprise and governments today are interested in cellular connections? The important and common factor is that uh, they are undergoing a digital transformation driven by AI, robotics, IoT, XR, cloud, and more. To implement these new technologies in their business areas, a secure, fast, and reliable connection is the key. For the previous cellular technologies, such as AT or unlicensed Wi-Fi, may be sufficient to meet some connection requirement. The pure amount of data that can be transmitted and the number of connections supported are incomparable to 5G. And private networks provide more benefit than public networks, as one, security and privacy are within the network, and two, quality is improved, including higher omnic throughput and lower end fan latency. With all of these benefits, one would expect enterprises and government agencies to be rushing to deploy these networks. Is there a function of education and awareness? Yes. Enterprise and government agency CIOs are well informed about wireland and Wi-Fi, but very few have experience with cellular networks. That is why we have developed an end-to-end -end private network solution, including hardware, software, and service that enable fast deployment and ease operation better than Wi-Fi. Our private network core incorporates all of the major functions of the macro core while minimizing the number of hardware and software. On the RAN side, we have a variety of radios that can support outdoors, indoors, low and high frequencies, Azure OS, license and unlicensed spectrum. Lastly, we have a dedicated private network management system for enterprise users to easily monitor the current network status and to analyze any issues. You mentioned earlier some of the new technologies that enterprises and governments may consider for their daily operations. What services can we expect with these new technologies and are there any real life experiences you can share with us? Sure, Kelly. We are working with the various enterprise vertical customers who are integrating 5 g with these technologies. Today, I'm going to show you two robots that are operated through 5G by our customers. This robot here is a neighbor's autonomous robot, Rookie. These robots constantly communicate with the neighbor cloud, sending large amount of information and receiving comments in real time between the robot and cloud, which is why they need a 5G network. We also have a four regular robot from Ghost Robotics. This robot dog is a military-grade solution with the five embedded cameras that can be operated on 5G networks for surveillance and patrol or for dangerous areas and situations. Speaking of emergency response and critical communications, Samsung is also a provider of public safety network solutions. Can you provide some insight into some of those specific solutions? Samsung provides end-to-end mission critical solutions, including RAM, core, critical communication and devices. Here, let me focus on specific critical communication technologies, MCPTX, or Mission Critical Push to Everything. With MCPTX, instead of a traditional voice-only communications with the brick-type heavy devices, first responders can leverage voice, text, and multimedia, including real-time video streaming, to communicate with each other. We have the word largest commercial reference and continue developing innovation, innovative solution for first responders. Do you also remember I mentioned that the robotic dog can be used during emergencies? We have integrated robotic dog to our MCPTX solution and it can communicate with the first responders, sending real-time surveillance and push the tone messages for rescue missions. That is encouraging to hear, as I know that interagency communications and coordination has been a challenge for many years, given the various legacy systems. 
Thank you, Young, for sharing your insights. Thank you. Our ultimate goal here at Samsung is to create strong and sustainable networks that maximize the benefits of 5G and future technologies. We believe that all of the solutions and technologies we've introduced today do just that. Samsung Networks will continue to push the boundaries of today's technologies to turn possibilities into reality. Thank you for joining us here at MWC.